everyone, Nicola Russell here, Remembrance into the Light. I had a little bit of an analogy in a physical form today, which was um, very, very interesting. I've had a few little issues now and again with my um, mic, um, and it's a wonderful mic. Look at that mic. So beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, baby. So you've got a little thing on the top there. Thanks, Pipey. Um, and, um, and I was wondering why this was all happening. And then I looked at this. Uh, which I put a bit of sellotape around and um, in its own right when it was working absolutely beautifully when it was in this perfect form um, it worked wonderfully I could put my printer on in there and charge my phone up and also my mic but then it sort of fell apart a bit and I put a bit of sellotape around it so the innards have turned a bit sour so this analogy was really sort of quite um, quite a, an interesting one for me with um, with a personal um, thing that's going on with it, me at the moment. Was that sometimes you you get into a relationship which is absolutely perfect, that everything is as it should be, and then the faults start to show themselves, and then things start to go a little bit creaky, and with a relationship that sort of shows us. Um, our growth in the beginnings um, and um, the allowance of that to occur and then it then starts to slightly shift into more of a let me show you what shadows you are holding so more of a sort of twin flame situation and with that there's great learning great teachings great understanding great gifts that they will bring you but these cut people come into your life um, maybe not for a permanent amount of time they're almost like contractual, that there's an exchange of upgrading each other. But then as we go and grow, things like this start to happen. Things start to break down um, and start to distort our experience with the relationship. Now, I can continue with this particular thing and start to still have that same issue. But what I need to do is I need to chuck that in the bin and I let go of it, and then I then find another <laughs> relationship that will replace that, which will hold a, a, a frequency that won't distort. And then if things start to m morph and change within that, that relationship can be looked at. But we learn and we live through the experiences and with our sense of communication as we have relationships within our um, experience, the key thing that I've absolutely learned from time and time and time again with having this presented, which is one of my deep core wounds, is the art of communication. Now, seeing me here talking all the time, um, then you would think, oh, she's got no problems communicating. I don't with myself. I don't with myself. But I do with an awful lot of people that are sort of quite close to me. And I don't know whether you actually um, um, sort of experience that in your own life, but I've learnt through these times, it's important to sit down and talk, not just by an email or a message or a text, but literally pick up a phone and talk to that person. Even better, even better, get on a Zoom call. Even better than that, knock their door and go around and talk to them face to face. The art of communication is so important and sometimes what happens is, is there's misunderstandings as a result of somebody holding their distortion and you're holding your distortion and there's this clash. So there was a, an experience that was actually completely opposite to the one that um, I've just experienced here which was literally the analogy of letting it go it was another one that I had which um, was again was a beautiful soul um, that I was not communicating with properly and the difference of actually sitting down and sitting there heart to heart and really talking it out has made such a difference within our relationship. It was almost like I'd taken that particular thing and taken it to the menders and it all got all brushed all nice and clean and it is back to where it should be. So what I'm trying to say here in this little video for you all out there is the universe is bringing in so many energetic flow systems that are really starting to sort of show you all these distortions within your relationships. And it doesn't matter which status of relationship it, who it is. 
If you're finding yourself not communicating, then you need to communicate. If you're like myself and there is a pattern within that, then just learn from that. Learn from it and actually go face to face and talk. Now on the other side of the flip of the coin, they have their perspective and free will. And if they don't want to talk to you, there is nothing you can do about it. As long as you sit there and you recognise it from your perspective and your sense of growth of letting go, if they're not willing to communicate in the manner that which are, is, um, is set by boundaries of yourself, because there's always that to take into consideration, it's important then to grow from that, let them go and allow them to be in their own soup of emotional states. And if they are willing, if they are willing to communicate in that sort of sense of really connecting with you at a heart-to-heart -heart context rather than from that of mind, you'll see the difference with that communication. And so then the hearts then blend back together again and then you go on with your flow. But there are times that you have to let go and there are times that you just go in and you communicate. And if you can work through that process, again, there's a gift within it. So know that each and every one of these relationships that we go through our lives with is that it's always the better route is through heart to heart communication, not by text, not by any other email or any other system, by literally face to face contact and actually sharing your emotional states, saying how you feel about the situation rather than just brushing it under the carpet. So be authentic, stand in your sovereignty and authenticity and stand there and say, this is how I'm feeling. And this is the interaction of what you're communicating to me has made me feel like. And if they're not aware of that, then that's their issue. If they're not aware of that to come out of their mind into their heart and out of emotional states, then that's their issue. You do your part, you stand in your sovereignty, you cannot interfere with other people's free will. So a little lesson I wanted to share with you today is that relationships at this time can be a little bit rocky, a little bit uh, because we're all bringing up all of our little patterns and emotional states that we're clearing and quite naturally with people around us it's going to bounce off of those because with the interaction with other people around you it gives you that sense of okay thank you for the gift for showing me that I'm holding within myself. So the people around me are really very precious regardless of the distortion. People that come into my lives are always there for a reason. We upgrade and we up level at soul level of understanding. There is no sense of judgment with any of this when you can come in from the heart perspective. I have compassion for every single person that comes into my life, rather, it, rather than just sort of getting in there and, and um, creating these cycles. Sometimes you just have to let them go. And that's for a soul level of understanding from both perspectives because there's a lesson at the other end of the communication. So I do hope that that actually helps somebody out there that maybe is going through this issue at the moment. Is to be, be true to yourself. See what it is that those communications are bringing in. What is it is that those patterns that are showing, what cycles are showing within your system and mine was definitely communication. Communication, lack, judgment, and all of that good stuff. It doesn't serve me. I need to move forward and onwards. So unfortunately, the relationships sometimes have to go. Okay, I do hope that helps somebody out there um, understand a little bit deeper, but just be authentic. Be there in your heart space, be compassionate, try to show up and give it from your perspective. Sometimes those communications can come forward with emotional states attached to them as you journey through the communication. But in the end, go to the heart, be there compassionate and see the other perspective also. It's not an easy thing to do, but the more you practice it, the more it becomes easier. Okay.
I do hope that helps. Da, kia ma bovis and a kia tana esha na kied, a la kia ma kau was your baki na a. Sometimes souls come into your life for a reason. They're upgrades, analysis, soul contracts. And once those contracts have gone, you let them go. Okay, take care everyone. Check out all the details below. Um, I hope you're all well. Um, the event on uh, Saturday is actually the 27th, the Saturday the 25th was really very interesting. I have another one that's coming up on, um, if you want to check that out on Star CG. It's on the 23rd of October, I think it's about then. Also have a light language group on there as well if you want to sign up for that, if you feel the need. Um, otherwise, keep watching. If you've not already subscribed, I've checked my analytics, and there's 20% of you that watch my videos that haven't subscribed. So um, it would be nice to see you to um, subscribe and comment below. Um, like if you wish, it just helps with my ratings. Okay, take care everybody and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.